Because what? The scientists are missing, if you ask me, the planetary alignments. Because most of the scientists are agree about the solar flares and their effects to Earth and geomagnetic storms and human affairs. Even the psychology of mass in general mm. and the market and the politics, everything. Right. But what they are missing, the planetary alignments. Okay. What do they need? The planet's positions to each other. Well, that's very interesting because I, I did not know that. The sci many of the scientists already mm -hmm. agree mm -hmm. that the change in the sunspot activity does affect human affairs. Human health. Human health. You know, yeah, they psychology. established that. Yeah. But they're not able to predict very well when the sunspots will occur. Or let's say they could predict much better. Much better. If they use the planetary positions. Yeah. So if you are right, and, <laughs> and Percy Seymour and John Nelson, that this really works, this is so valuable. We'll be able to detect changes in weather, the things that affect people's health. This is very practical and useful yeah. Yeah. information. This yeah. is exciting. Um, because we have to predict solar flares and uh, the all the what's happening on the sun. Because when it all happened strongly, let's say X flares are very strong, and they can cut the communication. Right. They can damage the satellites even, and. Also, if earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and hurricanes, everything are related with the uh, space weather mm -hmm. and what is going on in the sun, why not to predict them also using astrology as a, a player in that game? Right. Why not? Many planets in one side of the sun uh, cause solar flares according to my studies and according to studies some others. Right. So we will have Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in one side of the sun, especially in 2019 and 2020. That means more solar flares. Mm. So it will be a good idea to predict that, uh, maybe to warn before it happens. Sometimes right. it may be damaging. Right. And also we can use solar minimum and solar maximum uh, phases of the sun uh, predicting financial up and down periods in financial astrology some are using it right i'm using it also <laughs> we are in solar minimum phase yeah and in solar minimum phases investment in the market are getting lesser people are not very eager to making to get risks right when we have we are in solar maximum people want to get risk okay so in 2019 and 2020 we will have geocentrically we will have many planets in sign capricorn mm -hmm. in earth signs uranus will be there jupiter pluto and saturn will be, will be in capricorn neptune will be in pisces so we will have no superior planets in fire signs that means people will not very eager right. to get risks. And if we have less sunspots, even spotless days, right. according to some sciences, yeah. we will have very less sunspots. Okay. Okay. Any last things? No, this this was the last thing. Just keep an eye on 2020 <laughs> okay. about financial things and about all the weather patterns okay. and global cooling. If you're right, we will see some changes. Okay.